स्टूडेंट्स वी टॉकिंग अबाउट द एड्रेस रेजोल्यूशन प्रोटोकॉल और आप हम लोगों ने एक आप प्रोटोकॉल की लोकेशन को स्टडी किया था इट्स एन ऑक्जिलरी प्रोटोकॉल एट द नेटवर्क लेयर एंड देन हाउ द आप प्रोटोकॉल टेक्स इन द आईपी एड्रेस फ्रॉम द नेटवर्क लेयर एंड कन्वर्ट्स इट टू द कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग लिंक लेयर एड्रेस और द फिजिकल एड्रेस स्टूडेंट्स आप स्लाइड पर चलेंगे एंड विल स्टडी द ऑपरेशन ऑफ एड्रेस रेजोल्यूशन प्रोटोकॉल और आर्प इन फर्दर डिटेल students as you can see on the slide we have got a system a which needs to send its data to system b and we have got some intermediate nodes as well in the first case we have got an arp request or an address resolution protocol request and the second one is an arp reply so it's been aapko bataya tha ki arp request is always a broadcast so the address the link layer address that you are going to be using for the arp request is the broadcast address students in the case of the arp reply this is always going to be unicast and i'll explain students request ko dekhte hain pehle system a which has got an ip address of n1 and l1 wants to send something to system b which has got an ip address of n2 and l2 students gaur kijiyega our request us waqt generate hogi when your system a is looking for the link layer address of a node with an ip address of n2 so essentially system a does not have l2 which is the uh, link layer address or the physical address of system b and this is what we are trying to find out using this our request students the request is sent you can see the request here the request is sent in the form of a broadcast the broadcast is received by all entities that are sitting with the next connecting device in this case it's received by this machine out here which has got an ip address of n4 it's received by the machine which has got an ip address of n3 and it's also received by our destination um host or system b which has got an ip address of n2 students once system b receives it it recognizes its ip address and what it does it it actually creates an arp reply and in this case this is no longer a broadcast this is a unicast so it just uses the unicast address of system a and it sends a reply directly back to system a unicast means the arp reply or the response is sent directly to system a and this arp reply will contain l2 which is the physical address or the link layer address of system b and therefore system a can then use it to send its frames or whatever information that it has to system b so students this is how um, the address resolution protocol um, the request arp request and the arp response works students there is an additional concept that is called as caching that is also related to arp and we'll talk about that before we conclude this uh, discussion students um caching jo hai in in the caching the system a it actually caches or stores the link layer address of system b once it's received students ye jo concept of caching ka this is there to uh, remove the need or the requirement for system a to send broadcast every time it needs to send something to system b ab students um agar har bar whenever system a needs to send something to system b or uh, whenever system a um wants to broadcast this arp request if if it if this is done every single time then that is um, not an efficient use of our resources students another question that is answered by the concept of caching is why can't system a use the same broadcast packet or the frame to send the information that it needs to send to b students uh, normally the amount of frames that we need to send from one source host to the destination host is um, a huge number every time if we actually decide to send this using the broadcast packet that is going to actually collapse our data communication system it's an inefficient use of our links and the bandwidth that's available on the link every single time um, not just the destination host but all the hosts that are present on that particular link all those entities will actually receive this broadcast message they will have to um, you know activate the arp protocol they'll have to go in 
uh, open the header and have to look at the payload and the link layer address or the IP address of the destination. And because it's not their IP address, they will need to um, discard that particular frame. So students, once the system A gets to know the link layer address of the destination, which is system B, it stores that link layer address in its cache, in its storage, and therefore all the future transmissions um, from system A to system B are normally unicast. It, they're always going to be unicast. <laughs>